Hope you're going great. What is the fastest speed that a piston engine aircraft has achieved and how would you define that? Speed from a dive, speed and level flight. During World War II there have been many pilots killed due to loss of control caused when transonic speeds were reached in a dive from a high altitude. Early in 1944, Lieutenant General Jimmy Doodle visited the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Farnborough to ask for tests of three United States Air Force escort fighters, the P-38H Lightning, P-47C Thunderbolt and the P-51B Mustang. The test revealed that the Lightning and the Thunderbolt didn't reach the tactical manoeuvre mark numbers of the Messerschmitt 109 and the Fokker Wolf 190. He wanted to know the critical loss of patrol mark numbers for these aircraft so that pilots could recognise the symptoms before loss of control. The test revealed that the Mustang would be the chosen preferred fighter in the European conflict. Both the ME109 and the FW190 reached tactical mark 0.75 and the Merlin powered Mustang achieved mark 0.78 due to its laminar flow wing. The Spitfire Model 11 stripped down reached Mark 0.83 from 40,000 feet when gentle shaking of its tail preceded steepening of the dive without pilot input. At 0.86 Mark, the pilot had to pull 27 kilos of force on the control stick to recover and closing the throttles made little difference as the speed was now dependent on gravity. Pilot Eric Winkle Brown couldn't go faster in a dive because, being a small man, he couldn't pull back with enough force on the control stick. However, in April 1944, 6'4 tall squadron leader Tony Martindale had recovered after pulling 45 kilo when his Spitfire PR11 dived to Mark 0.92 or 998 kilometers per hour. At this speed, the overspeeding propeller detached along with the reduction gear. The loss of weight at the front made the aircraft tail heavy. That broke the dive and the aircraft went into a vertical ascent pulling 11G and blacking out the pilot. The straight winged aircraft now had a decided swept back look and it's not known whether that aircraft was ever flying again. He landed back at Farnborough with the valuable camera record. Flight Lieutenant Edward Powells in February 1952 Flying a Spitfire PR-19, dived to Mark 0.96 or 1,110 kilometers per hour when flying photo reconnaissance missions over China. These speed records are not recognized for the title of fastest propeller-driven aircraft driven by a piston engine as opposed to a turbine-driven propeller as they were reached in dive. That title used to belong to a modified Grumman F8F Bearcat, which flew in August 1989 in New Mexico. Then, in September 2017, Steve Hinton, flying a modified P-51 Mustang, reached 855 kilometers per hour. There have been flights that achieved higher speeds, and those have been discounted due to factors such as tailwinds. Weight classes have been introduced to define these records. The fastest German World War II aircraft was the Dornier DO-335 twin-engine Arrow, which claimed 763 kilometers per hour. In November 2005, Howard Whitley gave a talk to the off-flyers group about his aircraft, the Turbo Mooney 252, which achieved an unofficial speed record with a tailwind in the jet stream at 27,000 feet, flying from Perth to Sydney, when it flew 648 kilometers per hour ground speed. Impressive when you realize that the 252 in the name is its rated top speed of 252 knots or 467 kilometers per hour. Hence, it seems the Mooney was getting a boost of 181 kilometers per hour. Thank you.